Okay, this example is about winning the lottery. State lottery, Lucky Larry wins $11 million. Except he's not going to take the $11 million. He's going to get paid out year by year. The standard way is he's going to get $440,000 per year. So a constant income stream for 25 years. All right, we have two questions to answer here. We want to know if Lucky Larry invests each payment at... Uh, from the state at 5% compounded continuously, what's the accumulated future value of this income stream? All right, so we have our future value formula is the present value multiplied by E raised to the R times time. Okay, uh, and then we also want to know what was the accumulated present value of the income stream at 5% compounded continuously? All right, so this is basically what the state has to invest right now to make these payments for the rest of Lucky Larry's uh, 25 years. The problem here is it's kind of formatted in the opposite direction of what it should be. Future value depends on present value. So we first have to compute our present value and then use this result and plug into the future value formula. So let's gather all of our information and try to plug into the present value formula. So PV is going to be the integral from zero to, it's going to be 25 years total. So 25 goes up here for big T. And this was a constant income stream of $440,000. So that's going to replace F of T. Then we have E raised to the negative. We're going to use our 5%. So 0 0.05 T DT. We've converted from a percent to a decimal. All right, now let's work this out. So I'm going to come down here. We'll try to work this out. So I'm going to move the constant out in front. So the 440,000 can move out in front of the integral from zero to 25 E raised to the negative 0.05 T DT. Now what you should notice on this is we have E to a power, but it's not just E to the T power. Instead, we have a function within the E to the power function. So you're going to see this on every one of these present value formulas that you're going to have to do a quick substitution I'm going to let u equal the inner function. In this case, it's going to be the exponent. Then we're going to take the derivative of each side. So the derivative over on the right side is just going to be the constant dt on this side. Now we have a dt to substitute in for, but we don't have that negative 0.05. So I'm going to just move it to the other side by either dividing both sides by it or multiplying by 1 over that decimal. All right, now let's see about substituting in. So as we substitute in, again, that constant just comes along, 440,000. The integral of E is going to be raised to the U power. And now as we replace the DT, we can put the DU at the end. I'm going to elect to put the decimal, that negative 0.05 in the denominator, out here in front with the other constant. The other thing that we have to be careful of at this step is our bounds of integration. Initially, these were values for t because t was our variable. We've just switched our uh, variable over to u. So what we want to do is we want to adjust those bounds of integration. So what I'm going to do is off to the side here, use our let statement where we said u was equal to negative 0.05t. I'm going to replace in each one of these bounds of integration. So I'm going to replace t with 25, and I got this to be negative 1.25 for our upper bound. And then plugging in zero, we're just gonna get zero back. So our lower bound is gonna be zero. All right, from here, we want to integrate. So again, a little bit of this is busy work where you're bringing along the constants but then the antiderivative of e to the u is just e to the u, and it's going to be evaluated from 0 to negative 1.25. All right, all that's left to find the present value is to fill in our bounds of integration. And I think the easiest way to do this is just going to leave that constant on the outside, go e raised to the negative 1.25 minus e raised to the 0 power, and e to the 0 power is equivalent to 1. Therefore, we're going to get our present value is 
eight. And I know I kept three decimal places. That's what was in my calculator. I'm gonna, so that's what the state would have to invest today in order to make these payments year by year to Lucky Larry uh, for the next 25 years. We're gonna take that value and plug into our future value formula. So remember it's present value multiplied by E raised to the R times T. So our future value is gonna be this number multiplied by E raised to the rate. Remember our rate was 5%. And then our time frame, we're looking at 25 years into the future. What is Lucky Larry's investment actually gonna be worth over that time? 21,915,018 dollars to the nearest dollar. So even though it, initially it said he won 11 million, if he invests all of that, he has over 10 million extra dollars uh, after 25 years. All right, hope this helps. I'm setting these up. Remember on each one of these um, present value formulas, you're gonna need to do a U substitution along the way, but I hope this helps out on this problem and others. All right, good luck.